Good evening, everyone. So I did not want to be making this video. I was going to eat supper, but alas, I saw something on Facebook and I am so disgusted and so angry, um, sickened. Um, I, I had to share it. I had to get it out. I, I don't know what else to do. So I'm making a video. So it's on Facebook, uh, which I'm rarely on, but I have to check it, of course, for political reasons. And a friend of mine who I used to work with, actually, funny story, one of the people who I had to apologize to uh, for being a dumb SJW back when I called his Filipino wife a racist because her mother had worked in an Islamic country and had a bad experience and had certain emotions about that and I called her a racist, which I've admitted to and apologized for on this channel and to God and to her and thankfully he, uh, he gets it now and sees that I found my way and we are now friends on Facebook and he's a conservative and he posted this and it's, it's a real article it's in my province it's in the leader post which is a mainstream news source in Regina prison term for man who gave five-year-old girl an STI that's the uh, that's the headline a man who gave his five-year-old stepdaughter a lifelong sexually transmitted infection received a prison term this week the 29 year old man pleaded guilty to sexual interference and making sexually explicit material available to a child and received a five-year sentence on tuesday five years keep that in mind as i continue reading the man cannot be named to protect the identity of the girl regina provincial court judge uh, james Rib ribchuk struggled for words after hearing a set of extremely disturbing and graphic details i'll scroll down Hospital staff became concerned um, on October 2nd when a woman took her five-year-old daughter to the hospital because she was having trouble urinating. The little girl, who was given a popsicle, said, oh, it's just like daddy's pee-pee in my bum. When questioned, the girl reported he'd put his thing in her vagina and mouth. The girl was subsequently diagnosed with genital herpes. <sighs> this is something this child is going to have to live with for the rest of her life, said Crown Prosecutor Maura Landry. Police learned the man had been in an on-and-off relationship with the girl's mother since the girl was a baby and he'd moved in with the young family weeks before the abuse occurred. It had happened while the mother was out in September. He provided a statement to police, more or less admitting to incidents. He said he was watching pornography when the girl took his phone from him and started watching. He claimed she got into the tub with him while he was having a bath and sat on his erection, possibly causing it to penetrate her. He then described another incident in which he said he was hiding and masturbating when she came in and put his penis in her mouth. Oh, Landry reminded the court the girl was just five and that the stepdaughter, stepfather, pardon me, was the adult in the situation. Court heard the man who offered a brief apology had suffered from mental health issues throughout life. Well, isn't that just the word we use now? to define every single thing that somebody does that's so horrendous that you think it's the devil himself. In sentencing the man, Rubchuk described the circumstances as truly horrific. You need to put a stop to whatever your manner of thinking was here, the judge said. In addition to the prison term, the man was placed on a 10-year order restricting his access to children and will be on the National Sex Offender Registry for the rest of his life. And that's it. I will leave a link in the description below for that. That's the article. That's what we're dealing with. Five years. And then guess what happens in Saskatchewan after that? And I did a video on this and I'll attach it at the end of this video. It's called Should Social Justice Trump Real Justice? And it was about the case of a young man in PA, where I live, who had kidnapped and sexually assaulted a nine-year-old girl. Uh, the Gladue principle was applied to him. He only got five years. The Gladue principle um, is something that's applied to Aboriginal offenders who had a lot of trauma, generational trauma. It's meant to reflect their, their life issues, which is the social justice part, which I understand the, the methodology for, I do. But in this case, you know, the nine-year-old girl gets no justice, she has to live the rest of her life, he had no remorse, he had done it before. I'll, I'll leave the video up, you can, you can listen to me rant there. That happened, this happens all the time. I was living in Regina. Um, I remember getting, you know, public service announcements from the city police telling me that, uh, the sex offender, well, so-and-so, has been released in your neighborhood, just so you know. Oh, and by the way, he's at a high risk to reoffend. Have fun. Careful with your daughters now, hey? Five years. Five years for ruining that kid's life. Not only did he give her an STI, forget the trauma. No, no, five years. Because I feel like at this point, honest to God, you guys, there's no fucking justice in this country. But you don't really care for children, do ya? Nobody does. And I'm furious about it. 
please share this. Please share this so that people know what's going on in our freaking country. And the judge, who obviously felt sick about it, probably has hands tied and had to stick to some certain prescribed amount. And it's bullshit. This is bullshit. And I feel bad for that kid. If you're a Christian or a religious or a spiritual person, please pray for her so that she'll find healing. Phys- emotional, because you can't physically heal from genital herpes, but... Maybe someday she'll get over the trauma of her dad being a complete and utter dirtbag and then getting let out of prison like he barely did anything but steal something from a freaking convenience shop. Be good to each other, you guys.